right, this is Quartarone Guitar Reveries, a cinematic style guitar instrument for contact. So this, this library is not going for a realistic guitar sound. It's going for that cinematic style or a more of a, a more of a surrealistic uh, guitar style. Now it runs here in Native Instruments Contact. It will run in the full version of Contact or even in the free Contact player. So even if you don't have the full version of Contact, no problem, you can still buy this library and use it in the free Contact player. Once you purchase it and install it, you'll find it here in Contact under Libraries. Right here it is. Click on the Instruments and you're gonna see three different folders and then an empty patch. So each of these folders are essentially presets. So if you want more guitar sounds, head into the guitar folder, you want more key sounds or pad sounds, just head into those folders to uh, check out those presets, about 150 presets in all, and the interface will be exactly the same no matter which one you choose. So real quick, we'll check out a patch from each of these different folders. And then you have your empty patch here. So I'll get rid of this one real quick and just load up the empty patch. And you would use the empty patch if you just want to start from scratch, you know, really quickly instead of heading into your presets and loading something up uh, from there. But again, you have about 150 presets. So you probably have a sound that's already close to what you want. Uh, so in that case, just again, head through your uh, presets. So you have two different slots, your A slot and your B slot to load a sample. Just click on it. We'll say sustains one. <laughs> You can bypass a slot or turn off a slot just by clicking the dot there. And if you look down in the information section here in contact, whenever you hover over something, you'll see exactly what it does. So if you wanna bypass a slot, you can just click it so the uh, circle is hollow in the middle. You have pan, which is pretty self-explanatory how that works. You can pan each of your sources around. You have volume for each of your sources. You have your ADSR, so your attack, decay, sustain, and release. Meaning if my attack is really quick here, comes on pretty much instantly. If I pull my attack way up, it's gonna slide in. Set your decay and your sustain here. So if I want this level to be down here, my decay there. Decays down to my sustain level. Pretty quickly there, or make it longer. And then your release. So if I turn my release way down here, press a key, then release, it essentially goes off immediately. Now there is a reverb and delay on this. So if I turn those down, you see, as soon as I release, it goes off. So if you want that release to uh, go on longer, just turn it up a bit. Press the key, release. So it's still gonna release much longer instead of just immediately cutting off. Then down here, we have our sample start. So if you wanna start at a different part of a sample, just adjust exactly where you want that to start from. And of course, all of the same stuff applies over here to B as well. So I can load up maybe the harmonics over here. 
Then you have additional noise samples. So our pedal samples here, the dampening of the finger noises and our releases, which adjust the volume of the finger noise that plays on release of the key. So you can really pump that up or pull it down up to you. Then we have our sort of macro circles and these will correspond to the settings we have over here in the effects page. Let me show you what I mean. So right here is our stereo width control. If I take this all the way down, head back to the effects page, you can see that our stereo setting is now all the way down. If I pull it all the way up, that's what it looks like there, okay? Head back here, take our uh, stereo all the way up, back over here, and you can see the stereo is now all the way up. Okay, so sort of like macro controls, so you don't have to head back and forth for some of these uh, common controls. You have things like the wet adjustment for your delay and reverb. Just turn it down right here. Filter controls. Saturation. Stereo width. Make it very wide or very narrow. And then a tremolo control there too. Okay, head back to the effects page here. And we have all of these different effects, EQ, amp, chorus, lo-fi, tremolo, delay, reverb, stereo, saturate, and filter. All of these are pretty self-explanatory, but you have settings for your, your A and B slots. So you see the A here, go to your B here to, to adjust the settings for your, uh, for your B slot. So if I have a certain sample in B and it's way too boomy, I can take my EQ way down on the low end, pull that out, and then pump up the top end for uh, for my B sample, then over on A, I can have a completely, uh, completely different setting for that. Same thing for all of these that have the A and B setting. So something like saturate, stereo, reverb, they don't have the A and B setting, but delay, tremolo, lo-fi, etc. All of these, uh, you can have different settings. You can also bypass them. So I can bypass the chorus there on, uh, on the A, head over to B, turn it on. You can see those uh, settings are respected. So now we'll listen to some more samples of guitar reveries to get an idea of uh, some of the possible sounds you can create with this pretty cool library.
So that is Guitar Reveries. If you want to pick it up for yourself, head right over here. Of course, the link will be in the description below. Check out the videos on their site. And they have a bunch more samples over here uh, that you can check out as well. It's a great library. It sounds, you know, it sounds fantastic. Really great for sound designers or if you're into anything that's cinematic or you just want something a little bit different uh, to blend in with basically any other kind of music that you want. All right, so that is Guitar Reveries from Valiant Samples.